Hi, you're tuned into Church Talk Podcast with your hosts, Apostle Sean and Kadisha Jenkins. All right, all right, all right. It's Church Talk Podcast. Yes, yes. It is time for our second Church Talk Podcast. It is about to be phenomenal. Y'all already know what it is. It's the real, it's the raw, it's the un- cut yes it is this is the time where we get to discuss all things church why because there's so many things that's happening in the church there's so much that's going on that's not being discussed that's not being talked about and there's so many people that's suffering there's so many people that's going through and there's so many people that don't really understand what's taking place in the church and with all that's going on and and all that's happening we need to make everything aware and everything brought to the light so that we can help god's people get back to them back to him and so that's what this this church talk is about i'm excited you excited apostle sean i'm excited because it's about to be epic yeah yeah (laughs) yeah it's about to be epic so y'all already know again this is church talk podcast and it's your host apostle kadisha jenkins and apostle sean and we have some amazing people with us this morning yes we have some amazing people who's going to talk about church hurt with us we're going to start from our left and go on over to our right who do we have first to the left malachi grayson yeah mally moments mally moments (laughs) who else do we have Kinea Graham. Come on, Kinea, you in the house. Come on, come on. Who else do we have on the far right? You got Daniel J. Williams. Act accordingly. Come on, act accordingly. <laughs> act accordingly. And who do we have over here? Savon Gatson. Savon's in the house. I say Savon's in the house. <laughs> Yeah, I had to put that Martin in there, y'all. I had to put that Martin in there. (laughs) But I'm excited. It's going to get real good. It's going to be so awesome. So are y'all ready? Ready. We ready. We ready. So we talking about church hurt today. Uh Good conversation. You you think it's going to be good? That's a real good conversation. Why you think that? Because people got to understand what church hurt is. Uh Uh-oh. A lot of people, they they, they talk about I'm church hurt, I'm, I'm, I'm this, I'm that but don't really understand far as the, the meaning of church hurt. And I think today we're going to just break that thing all the way down for them. Come on, let's break it all the way down for them. <laughs> so somebody, anybody, let's go. First question, what does hurt mean? Because a lot of people say they're church hurt. A lot of people maybe have been church hurt. But what really is the meaning of hurt? Somebody, what's the meaning of hurt? Anybody, take that. Pain. Pain, good, good. Anybody else? Well, yeah. pain. I looked it up. It says to cause bodily pain to or in. Oh, that mm-hmm. is so good. Yeah. yeah. And then another one said to cause pain or to cause injury. Yeah. Come on, injury. come on. Yeah, I have a good definition that I would want to put out there. It says to damage. To the point of decreasing your efficiency. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Wow. So you're damaged to the point that you're no longer able to be effective. You're no wow. longer wow. able to be efficient. You're no longer able to operate. That's what hurt really means. To cause okay. bodily harm, pain, or injury to the point that you could decrease somebody's mobility. Mm-hmm. Wow. wow. So, that's yeah. powerful, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah, it is. That is powerful. So, so with that being said, so we understand as far as what hurt is so now we got to understand for us what, what is what is the church what what church is come on somebody what is church we are the church so we the church right we're the church. Right. 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 right so now look at this right here so the the, the topic today is what well, church hurt right, right. right. Mm-hmm. so a lot of people say i'm church hurt i'm church hurt i'm church hurt <laughs> and not understand for us the real meaning of church hurt yeah so when they say they church hurt for us one is not the building or the location that hurt mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. It was the church that hurt you, the people in the church. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. So when you say I'm church hurt, that's and then you hear a lot of people say, Well, I don't go to church no more. Why you don't go to church? Because I've been church hurt. Right. Yeah. But the the Bible tells us symbol ourselves, the church didn't really the building didn't hurt you. Right, mm-hmm. right. It was individual, the person. Right. But they but they when they when they look at that, they they categorize as, as the as the church. You yeah. See what I'm saying? What yeah. I'm yeah. They they have the wrong meaning of what the church is, and so they stop doing God 
Come on. That's what you're saying. They stop doing God because of what people have done, but it's not necessarily people. Amen. It's the spirit that yeah. is within the people Come because, on. like yeah. you say, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, right. Ephesians 6 and 12. So when people understand, and this is why a lot of people um, allow themselves, because I got to say, allow themselves to be hurt, because mm-hmm. if they really walk in what the word says and not put their trust in man yeah. and not put all their, 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 their faith and their hope in man, they they wouldn't even position themselves or be in a posture to be hurt because they would be so focused on God yeah. and the things of what God has done. Their spirit of discernment will put them in the right place and know how to handle people and know how to make sure that they're not hurt because God wouldn't hurt them. Right. That's good. Yeah. I yeah. Was gonna, I, that was, I was going to say that too because just. I was like, where, where did the term church hurt right. come from? Right. Yeah. If you're coming in yeah. looking for God, then. How you? How would you get disappointed? So you wouldn't good. be disappointed right. if you came in looking for yeah. God. Disappointment only comes from a, 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 a thought process, an idea that we conceive ourselves Ooh, on what's going to happen. That's good. So you going looking for what you can see, so you come believe on. it to come from a person, and that's why we're the church. That's why people hurt them. Yeah, but, that is so good. But if you look at what you said, because I, I had that on the top of my head, like you said, for us. Where did it came from? I mean, mm-hmm. it got to be something like a new millennium thing. I mean, because <laughs> think about it. You got to think about it. If you go back to the old church, we never heard about, I'm church hurt. Yeah. Like when you no, they play up, them but, games. Yeah. They yeah, pointed out to the person who did it to you, them. You know what I'm saying? When you came over with grandma and granddad, hey, you know something at church hurt. And then the thing that I love about it, a lot of people, they we, they operate so much in their emotions and their feelings and right. say anything that can be said, oh, I'm church hurt. Because <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. it, it done been a, it like programming my mind. Right. If somebody offend me, if my feelings get hurt, I'm church hurt. But you gotta understand, back in the days, like like when when somebody like chastised you, you took that rebuke and you sat, yeah. and and you didn't move or got up until they say you 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 had permission to get up. It's not about being controlling; it was the fear of God back then. Right. And I think now there's no fear of God, yes. so that's why people saying I'm church hurt. You can tell somebody you can't. I mean, how, how can I put this right here? I'm gonna say something real crazy right now. You you can tell them, hey, um. Go 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 outside the door, and I need you to go to the kitchen. And they might come back and say, "Well, you know what? They might catch offenses because you tell them to go in the kitchen to get something out of the kitchen and come back." I'm just doing something simple, and they'll, then they'll go around and spread it. Oh, I'm been church church. Why you been church? My pastor talked to me wrong. Well, you know but, that. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's kind of like you know what it is. Really, it's it's because people come in with an agenda. Right. Yeah. They, that part. There's no. Yeah. There's, no there's no. There's no spirit in them. There's no spirit about them. It's not yeah. about seeking God. It's an agenda. I want to get close to. I want to get close to the apostles. Mm. I want this position. I want leadership <laughs> in this thing right here. Wow. And yeah. when they don't get what it is that they came that's in looking church. for, yeah. then that's their excuse to say, yeah. I, I, "I got hurt." They they disappoint, and it goes back to disappointment. The first thing they say, they disappointed me. They let me right. down. They're not real. Right. All of that because they had an agenda and they couldn't get what they wanted. So wow. yeah. they, that's I, real. Yeah. That and I good. I feel that um, one. I feel that another way people would say they're church hurt is um sometimes you could get convicted from your flesh yeah and people could take the conviction from your flesh as oh you know they yeah that's they good. if if the bible i mean not the bible but if the saying is you know if the shoe fits wear it right. and people don't like to wear the shoe because it don't mm-hmm. feel good so once they get you know uh afflicted or they call it afflicted or when they get convicted of any way or chastised they want to take it as church hurt because their flesh got convicted. That's another thing you said. Going back to your feelings, they came in with their feelings, mm-hmm. and if they if their feelings get crushed and the spirit of God reveals them, then oh, I'm church hurt because you got this exposed. Good. Yeah, this is good. Wow. This See, is good. I'm sorry. I mean, what, no, what, go ahead. One thing I um I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, the only time I ever been church hurt is if I scrape my elbow on the brick outside of the church. I'm Valley <laughs> moment. That's the for Valley real. That's the moment. That's, that's yeah, the that's when the only church time. hurt you, yeah, right? That's, that's the well, only I just time. want you to know the insurance ain't covering that. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was the only time. But on, on, on to be real with you, uh, it's a scripture I would like to read. Uh, Psalms one forty six. Come on, come Psalms on, 20, come on. Psalms one forty six three through five. Don't put your confidence in powerful people. Come on. There was no help for you there. Mm. When they breathe their last, they return to the earth. All of their plans die with them. But joyful are those who have their who have the God of Israel. As their helper, whose hope is in the Lord their God. So what that tells me is, you know, sometimes we, you know, because there are leaders out there. There are churches out there that do treat people cruel, that do treat people bad. But the thing is, 
your confidence shouldn't be in mankind. Yeah. If you're there for God, exactly. if you have the Holy Spirit on the inside of you, you oh, you already, you already should know, I should be in this house. Mm-hmm. Or you got to learn how to endure that. See God. See past people. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. So why am I hurt from something that was never meant to hurt me? Come on. That's and, good. And, and you know what I love about what you just said? Is because I had want to go to that point of view, too, how you were saying for us. There are certain leaders that, you know, for yeah. us do people wrong. Right. right. And, and, and they mistreat the people, mishandle the people. But you got to understand that if you read your words, you got to understand that if, if if the Bible said the people perish because of lack of knowledge. Right. So if I'm I'm going to perish because I let one leader yeah. determine it's as not far as church. My, my, decrease my, my mobility. Yeah, my <laughs> mobility. And, and, and let me say, you know what? Do I really want to go to church or do I really want God? Right. But they got to understand every leader is not like that. Yeah. So you can't base your experience yeah, off of what you experience at one church mm-hmm. and say, you know what? I'm not going to go to church. So now you got five years. I done met people say, you know, I ain't been to church in five years. I ain't been in 10 years. I'm like, why? Because I got hurt in the church. But, but that shouldn't give you a reason to, to, to stop, you know, like saying, you know, loving on God. Yeah. They don't want to go anyway. Yeah. Five years? That's <laughs> Come on. Excuse. That part. <laughs> that part. Because it's, it's, it's I mean, even that if part. they could, they could, if they truly seeking God, they really want God, the Spirit's going to lead them to exactly. the, the place where there's true church there, where there's, there's true, there's the true gospel and there's real love. So, I mean, if they really want it, the spirit will lead them there. They they wouldn't have to, I wouldn't say so much have to have already had the spirit, but <laughs> they got that tugging in their heart. Yeah. They're going to get pulled That's and land good. the way they need to go to. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yes. That's good. I, 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 I love it. I love how we just going and flowing. This is so powerful. This is so good because everybody is saying exactly what's taking place. Like we have all of this that takes place in the body of Christ. And so many people get the body of Christ mixed up with the church. How mm-hmm. the body is supposed to function as a body when the church is an individual person. And wow. so if we focus on that individual person because we already had our idea set up of what we're going to this particular ministry for mm-hmm. then we're, we're setting our set up self up for failure because we have to go with the idea of I'm going for God mm-hmm. regardless of where you are in the house of God when you have the spirit of God it lets you know whether you need to be here whether you don't need to be here who you need to to uh, take a, a closer relationship with who you mm-hmm. don't need to take right. a closer relationship with you, yeah. you know when you have the spirit of God that's what God does so I want to go to this question real quick i have a question so what do you consider church hurt because there are people who are church hurt if we can be real there are people who are church hurt you know you 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 some there are some people that have the the right motives there are some people who have the right motives some people who have the right mindset some people who go in with the right heart but they're not strong enough in their walk with God you get what I'm saying there may be babes in Christ and they're trying to grow and so because they're trying to grow and they're trying to you know get to where they're supposed to be in God and they're trying out this church what is not a good church and they really don't know God you know they probably could be church hurt so what would y'all consider church hurt if church hurt is really a thing are you are you referring to what happens like the the after effect like the effect of them being in that environment what is church hurt what, what church do you hurt? consider period. to be church hurt period what what well, would you consider one to say okay now that's church hurt right there for real what well like, what would you consider that to be if 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 church hurt is something out there yeah. what what do you consider church hurt i would say it'll be a, a disappointment a, a big a, a just a, a feeling of disappointment um some i look up to the church i look up to the to the leaders of the church i look up to that so for them to uh for, for them to mistreat me or do me wrong i, I would be very disappointed it would be a feeling of disappointment and shame something like that i look up to something that i believe is supposed to help let, me fix me let, let's let's make it a little bit more raw okay give us an example all right um, yeah let's yeah, like what what what, what do you feel would cause someone to be church hurt? so when i say what do you consider church hurt meaning what is something that could possibly happen to okay. say someone is church hurt okay um for example i'm and I, I could just use a scenario there's a woman in the church she comes there expecting to get god the pastor got a wife pastor sleeps with the woman that comes to that church to get god then the pastor just kicks her to the side leave her like some dirt some trash call her names then it's a whole big mess and then now the pastor is just like in this whole situation then the woman is there and then she's in a mixed-up mess and then she boom now i came to this church to get god y'all preach about all this wrong stuff now i'm kicked off to the to the side like 
that's church hurt to me. Just a public embarrassment, disappointment, just just that, period, to me. That's church Okay, hurt. so you consider that to be church hurt. I, I like that you say that because there's a lot of people, yeah. there's a lot of people that they go through that. that, experience that. But yeah. I got to be honest, I don't know if I would consider you to be church hurt because or, if you, you know that pa- you slept yeah. with the pastor, yeah. and he got so a wife. You know what you was doing. But, so so it, you know what you was doing. It was, but the pastor act, acted as but, a predator. But you still your action, so you saying just a, a predatorial saying. type? Yeah, almost. Pastor. Yeah, so she hold on. So let me make sure we got this. Misguided, mis- yeah. mis- but let's manipulated. Sure we got her, so did she slept with the pastor? Yeah. It could have been the pastor. No, we. I yeah. just want to know from my scenario. From my scenario, she slept with the pastor. She was manipulated into sleeping with the pastor. She wrong too. I, I she, don't I mean, care she how you do it. She's wrong. Now, if you didn't say she didn't sleep with the pastor, then okay, we can we can okay. we can go there. But if she slept with the pastor, that means come on. The Bible said he gives a a, a right of escape. Okay. And I understand what you're saying. She might be mm-hmm. being manipulated. She might be being like so part of form of witchcraft like, right there. I was getting ready to say. <laughs> yeah, but but how you gonna? I, it, nah, 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 I, nah. I get that. So idea so with okay. So let's do this right here. He's saying she. What he, I get what he's getting at is being taken advantage of. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Got, this is getting good. I, I, this is good. So, yeah, so let me ask you a question saying. right here. So I'm asking you a question. So you married to your wife. We ain't gonna use power. We gonna cause cause I think we focus on this. So you married to your wife. You and your wife married, right? So both of y'all married. So now I'm gonna use her because you a man. So another man then the same way he's saying forcing his way on your wife at work. She messing around, missing sleep with the with the man because the man forced his way on her. Is that is, so? You gonna you you not gonna? It's not her fault. Yeah, yeah, that's a decision they made. That's their fault. That's, right. so, so, so what I want to say, church hurt, it would be like right. where, where he was trying to go with it is she is someone being taken advantage of. So say right. you got somebody who come in and, and and the leaders they have that god they have that godly appearance, right? And they getting them they getting them for their money. They got them doing all types yeah. of things for them personally right, and whatnot right. because they believe that yo they being they being subject they being submissive to their leader who appears to be a follower of Christ. Right. So they being taken advantage of in, in every way. They they not being led to Christ. They being taken advantage of because of their naivety, because they really want to serve God. They really want to give their heart. And they believe that being in this place and following this leader is going to help them take them there. So it's being taken advantage of. Yeah, really and I, I, I understand I, that as well. Um, I do believe in in every aspect she would be wrong as well yeah, in yeah. this situation. But we have to think about situations as well because of me, we, we knowing about and the type of ministry we are, deliverance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't know people's background. You get that's what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got a woman. So No, no, no. But you got a woman who comes into ministry who's been abused, who, who's, who's dealing with spirits of perversion, who's dealing with all of these different things that that now these traumatic experiences in her past and her life she's coming to a ministry that people are saying is a good ministry you you know i'm just coming in this ministry because i'm trying to get god i know i'm bound i know i'm d- not where i need to be you are already messed up so you don't really know how to handle if you're being persuaded or you're being uh uh, uh brought into yeah you're wrong for doing it because you know you got a wife but when you operate in, in different spirits perversion uh all of these different things mm-hmm. What's on your life? You can easily fall into the trap of sleeping with someone. Is it right? No, it's totally wrong. wrong. Yeah, it's but wrong. people have to be delivered and set free so, and know if they don't know. So can let me let me. I want to voice my opinion one more time then, because I actually, I mean, I didn't, I didn't heard it. I probably didn't said in it. I mean, my thing is so like you said. Look at this right here now. So okay, the person that the, the, we using the woman, Mali situation, mm-hmm. the person, the woman coming to get God. Scenario, oh, oh, scenario yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, that he, part. He, <laughs> make sure you say it <laughs> right, right? Scenario. Because you about to get married, <laughs> ain't Scenario. <laughs> right. No, no. Yeah, your scenario. Yeah, scenario. <laughs> but, but, Power of life and but, death. But look at this right here. So the woman, like you said, she came to the church seeking God, looking for God, even though y'all saying for us being taken advantage of. We got that. The pastor was wrong for that. We hands down, we got that. But now look at this right here. So after they slept with each other, they continue to sleep with each other and continue to sleep with each other. No, he it, didn't say that. No, I'm showing you what happened. I'm going off a situation that happened in the church. I'm gonna tell you that they have the they have the, the they have the woman that they sleeping with sitting on the first row with the um, oh, with the wife. I mean, that's so, a different so, oh, scenario no, 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 what he said. Oh, oh, I get what you say. Can I put my let me get my point of view out? Now, I so, get what you're so saying. now they 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 because I haven't seen this. So now they sitting in the same row. We, I mean, we doing the same thing. It. Yeah, we heard about it. Okay, if you want to do that, but we being raw. So now look at this. Uh, so it only become they only be get hurt when they can't get what they want. Now, 
Ooh. So that's when it become hurt. Because the man probably saying manipulating you. them, saying, I'm going to leave my wife. I'm going to do this. No, that man ain't going to leave his wife. He didn't telling you that. And so now it become church hurt when I can't get what I want. Now it's time to expose yeah. the pastor. Now I'm going to come in and expose him I mean, because I can't get what point, I want. Yeah, if yeah, you get but, to that point. But you you got to understand what people are doing now. People know what they're doing. I mean, now, in that yeah, case, in that yeah. Case, yeah. yeah. But I get his scenario as well, what he would consider to nah, be church hurt. Be wrong uh, yeah, the pastor and her, she's yeah. wrong as well for taking out that time to make herself available for him to do that with her. Yeah, mm -hmm. she is wrong as well. Well, but her going in with the mindset of I want God yeah. and then being taken advantage of for her wanting God and knowing and she that still slept she, with the pastor. Right. And she she slept oh. with the pastor. Yeah. She's so after wrong. After the first time. Yo, after, after the, the, the first, first time? time. No, you yeah, wrong. Yeah, you wrong. You wrong. wrong. Yeah. yeah. She, 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 if it happened the yeah. first time and then she like, you know, she come to her senses like, oh man, what I what have I done? You know, exactly. But then but yeah, yeah she, she keep on going, yo, they definitely yeah, dirty. Yeah, it's just both of them dirty. The Can I just say this <laughs> one this one this one little thing. What what I cause I, I understand that. They both definitely wrong. They're dirty. That's yeah. disgusting. Yeah. But my Especially thing is him. this too. Uh Leadership in itself is a powerful word. We just yeah, we is. just talked about leadership. Right, church leaders. So influence. I've influence. So i <laughs> Y'all can call us a Malley Moore, but if you sit underwater long enough, you're going to get washed. And yeah, that's so true. So if you under that, people are actually manipulating people to think what they're doing is right. Yeah. So it's like, it's almost as if Back this, this generation now, it scares me because it's not, it's not scary you to me, but it, it, it wears me out a little bit because it's this way of life that seems right to so many people. Mm -hmm. So it's like, they brainwashed right now. So it's like. Right. They don't even know if they're wrong or right. They're just good with straddling the fence, in a sense. Yeah. So, in a sense, in their mind, they c it can literally be a mental demon telling them what they're doing is not wrong. Mm -hmm. And then, when they actually do get hurt, because I really believe that hurt is really being on a receiving end of disappointment, major disappointment. Mm -hmm. So, if they, when they do finally get the disappointment, that just, that's a, that's the Christian demon. That causes division exactly. in the church. That causes yeah. people not to want to go to church. So yeah, yeah. that's yeah. that's my small little point of view. Yeah, and that's how the and, and I feel like that's how the enemy is sneaking his way in ministries, not just with sleeping with the people in the church, but you have yeah. a lot of gossip and yeah. confusion and mm -hmm. clicks. And again, it deals with this is a spiritual thing, and people have to understand this is spiritual because jealousy and envy causes church hurt. So Amen. they say yeah. because you have people again who put their trust in man they put their trust in people they come in with the mindset of i want to click up with this one i want to get close to this leader i want to mm -hmm. get close with that one yeah. if that one's close to the leader well i want to get close with that one so i can find my way to get in close with the leader because they're dealing with spiritual forces spiritual yeah. demons so now you've got principalities who are literally operating in the church and again going back to church leaders your church leader got to be in the right mindset the right place to nip that stuff in, in the, the butt. butt like cut it out this is what's in the house cut it out because church hurt don't just come from the the leaders it, it come from the, the people body, in the, the house yeah you so, got to be careful because we are the church yeah. so right. that's why as leaders as well we've got to be able to be in our rightful position and rightful place Place, that we don't allow hurt and and cause people to get to a place where they are so immobile that they can't be effective for the kingdom of God. So Amen. so mm. so let's look at it this way then. Let's so let's let's remove from the leaders right now, being that we understand that. So let's look at for let's go to the body mm -hmm. and let's deal with the body for us with gossip there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that yeah. So so how 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 do we like give us a, somebody got a scenario, a scenario for, for us for with for gossip God. with the body. Like you said, talking about, you know, with cliques and stuff like that. You have cliques and, you know, different ministries and stuff like that. People that are really close and, and sticking together. So, you know, if if I'm really close with Daniel, you know, we're clicked up. You know, we might talk about Mali or we might talk about Kine or stuff like that. So, it's a lot of backbiting, you know, in the church and stuff yeah. like that. You know, if you're really close with the person, you're going to come with that person to talk about somebody. And it, it also can be jealousy as well yeah. because if I'm close with someone in the church and I'm talking about someone else, you know, what's in my heart towards that person. I could actually be jealous of that person so I can get with someone else, you know, that might be jealous of that person as well. So we can, 
you know, backfight and gossip. Spirit. Yeah, familiar yeah, and come against yeah. that person that, you know, I'm really jealous of that person. So I'm going to click up with somebody else. You know, that's weak as well because somebody, you, come you're going to go to somebody that's weak. Yeah. You're not going to go to someone that's strong, you know, that's going to nip that in the butt and be like, yeah. no, this, this ain't what's about to happen. So you're going to go to the weaker vessel, you know, that's going to agree with you <laughs> to backbite with, mm -mm. against that other person. That is so true. But you know, that's Crazy. in the Bible too, though. Yeah. I mean, look how they click up with each other, like you <laughs> in the Bible who yeah. hated each other. But they click up with each that other part. just to go the wall against somebody else. When they wanted, else. when Pilate yeah. and Herod, yeah. they didn't even do each other. But yeah. because Jesus was yeah. the topic of Come discussion, mm -hmm. and Jesus was the one that they wanted to crucify, they came together, came together. To, to to crucify yeah. Jesus to, to kind of. Come up yeah. with a diversion to try to take him out. And this is what we see yeah. a lot in the church. Because, like you said, the, they get with the weaker vessels. They find the familiar spirits. And people get jealous over the, the simplest little yeah, stuff. Like, you know, and, yeah. and people come in the house. If you got to be honest, again, it deals with the spirit. It deals with what you came in there with, yeah. what you've been dealing with. Maybe you, 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 you come in there with the mindset of having or you just come for gain or you come to, to can I be honest? You got some women who come to the church just because I want a husband. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? You come, you got men that come just because I want a wife. You know, you, it's what your motives are. And when you come, you come wanting this certain man and this man don't want you. Then you upset and you mad. You trying to hit on him or she trying to hit on this one or he trying to hit on her. Thank you. And you upset and you mad. And this is now you church her. So you build clicks you build groups within the ministry to so make other people to like what you saying or do certain stuff and we see this a lot in the church but so, my question is this is it really church hurt no, that's why i'm about to ask that's you know not, what I, no. I was i was wondering about so the, the the whole phrase church hurt right right it went it, it came about so in the world right now everybody's easily offended yeah right mm -hmm. yeah so church hurt actually came into the body once once the body started accepting culture started bringing mm, culture come in. on That's let's really, go let's go really let's go to the the real deep stuff now yeah. right culture but what they is allow culture? culture to come in so in oh, culture wow. culture is saying that all right this is how i feel this is what i want if i can't get what i want I'm offended, and yo, somebody got to pay for that, and that's the same thing that seeped into the church because now they like when they wanted to accept culture, like maybe we need to blend in and look a little right. bit more like the world, so they can be a little, world. so we can that's be able to pull them in and that whatnot, part. not knowing that they will open up the doors to have a, a, a influx of all type of spirits, all Jesus. type of demonic spirits. Jesus, yeah. that is so I mean, you true. Think about what scripture said. Go ahead, though. No, I was thinking the main thing that I, um, stuck out me when he was saying it. The main word he said was I. It's always yeah. I, I, I. I come in with this motive. I come in, and if I don't get what I want, like it's not even about God no more. It's like That's I. crazy. Mm -hmm. It's just I. It's so, it's so real. It's so so I, real. I think we find the root of the problem right there. Yeah. Yeah. You say it's I. I, 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 I. I. Jesus. That's and then they're coming with motives. I mean, right. I, I guess like that he is. Said, like not he said, coming they, to offer anything. They ain't right. coming to offer themselves mm -hmm. at all. Coming to offer themselves for service. Coming to offer themselves, put themselves up on the altar. They just coming to take away with something. Mm -hmm. And then you got to understand uh, when there, there's a saying that hurt people hurt people. people. Yeah. So a lot of people that are crying out church hurt are actually those that has already been hurt. Mm -hmm. Because if you think about it, like you said, they come in with culture and they come in bringing in all types of different things. They coming in because they're offended. Offended yeah. then leads to retaliation. Yeah. Because yeah. once I'm offended, then I'm going to retaliate back because mm -hmm. I need to let everybody know that I'm church hurt. And mm -hmm. this church did this and that one did that and this and that. Now you got the spirit of retaliation mm -hmm. going through this, this church and going through with the people and all this type of stuff. Now you got retaliation hitting. And now you got people who are now so easily offended because people just out here just doing and saying anything yeah. and so it damages good ministries that's why we have to we really have to operate in the spirit of excellence and we have to operate in the spirit of love mm -hmm. because of the fact that we can give the devil no room to right. say anything because our actions will vindicate us when everybody else is saying otherwise right 
And it also brings in um, rebellion, mm. disobedience, that's and real. division. Yes. And you yeah. know, the enemy, that's what the enemy wants in the in the body of Christ anyway, is division. Because when you're on one accord, you know, God can really move and more can be done in the body when they're on one accord. That's yeah. And that's why so many churches and you know people are not you know things are not really being done we're not really seeing the miracles and we're not really seeing you know things being done in the body of Christ because it's so much division and people feel you know once they get to a point oh I'm grown or you know I'm old you can't tell me (laughs) nothing you know that part I feel like you know they can do what they want to do and it's a lot of people don't want to submit to authority so when you come in church with you know church hurt and you haven't been delivered you don't you're rebellious you don't you don't want to yeah. submit to authority so you know you're bringing in hurt you're bringing in division you're yeah. bringing in discord right. so if you're bringing in all these spirits you're if you're not delivered from them you're releasing it and if you're Jesus. not you know, yeah. you're clicking up with other people so you're weak and the person you're clicking up with they're weak so you're just <laughs> bringing in more division in the body mm. of Christ so it's, it's division rebellion and, and disobedience and that is so yeah. good I want to read this scripture really quick you want to say something go ahead no, I can wait because I might go into something else. So I want to read the scripture really quick because this is what we're seeing in the body of Christ and what we what what people don't understand. This is what they deal with. So this is why they say I'm church hurt. Um, Ephesians chapter four, verse 31. This is what we would have to do. It says, get rid of all bitterness, mm-hmm. rage and anger, brawling and slander, yep. along with every form of malice. All of this is just malice. <laughs> it says, but be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Mm-hmm. We have so many people who operate in these things and they never get to the point of forgiving because they don't even understand yeah. that they're operating in what they're operating in is because it's been done to them in another manner that now they're doing it to other people. And yeah. so it's just a domino effect that we're seeing and it's so easily for people to say, I'm church hurt you probably done hurt a whole bunch of people and now this hurt is attached to you because you got rage in you you got bitterness in you you've got anger in you you've got brawling you've got slander you've got all this type of malice built up on the inside of you and now the root of it needs to come out and this is why you go into ministries with you already going into a ministry bitter you already going into a ministry angry you already going in with these types of things so when you get in here what do you think you're going to receive you're going to receive what the enemy play with your mind with because mm-hmm. you already battling and dealing with it. Mm-hmm. It's really not that you're a church hurt because if I can be honest, there's no such thing as church hurt. Yeah. If you go to <laughs> church to do God, yeah. there's no way. And I had, to, if I can be honest, this is real raw and uncut. I was at that place at one point going to a church and going in with the mindset of I'm going to do God. But in the midst of doing God, you start getting close to people. That's why you got to be mindful and careful right. who you connect right. with so in right. church who you connect with because there are a lot of people that are not sent by God right. the enemy sends his demons to churches right. because yep. he understand what the church is supposed to do the church is supposed to gather it's supposed to come together it's supposed to love it's supposed to build you know this is what the church does and so I went to the church and you know loving the people thinking you're doing the right thing and then all of a sudden when you're doing the right thing can I be honest you start seeing people tell you oh you did good you singing on the praise team you did awesome you did good after all after a while the pastor is telling you oh you're doing an awesome thing so after a while your mind shift you pleasing people now you come on you looking for validation now so here you are operating in this and then you don't get what you want guess what happened you get hurt and you think everybody's against you can i be honest this is how the devil play with your mind everybody against you ain't nobody thinking about you no more ain't nobody and this is how the devil plays but when you go into the house of god with your mind said I'm coming for God God whatever my assignment is for you however you want me to do this you can't get church hurt because yeah. you you focus on God God ain't gonna hurt yeah, you that's good. it deals with pride too because if you going right. in you know oh I was hurt I was hurt it's, it's not even about you so like you said if that you're part. going in with the mindset you know I'm coming to get God and you know someone says it's, it's not even about you it's so not. a lot you know a lot of people deal with you know pride and it's like you don't yeah. some don't even know they operate in it or they don't even know they have it but you know yeah. it's is there so that's real i said cuz it with the pride thing what you just saying it goes back goes back to what culture has been pushing individuality Mm-hmm. All about all about me, all yeah. about Self me, love. all about me. Yeah. And then you get all types of other things attracted to that individuality. And so yeah, when you go in, when you go in someplace, you not you you go to a church or you go to a place of worship, you not you 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 have your mind divided. 
You're like, I want God. <laughs> right. But at the same time, yeah. it's like when you go into like one of those, uh, so you go into a network marketing campaign, one of those meetings. You go in with your arms crossed because <laughs> in your mind, you're already thinking, Come on. yeah, they ain't going to get no money up out of me. <laughs> so you go into the church and be like, I'm not going to be letting nobody get too close to me because I'm not sure about what's going on wow, here. Wow, and you kind of go in looking for, looking for the flaws. Instead mm -hmm. of going in with your heart open yeah. to receive, to going in looking for the love of God, so the love of God will meet you. I mean, it doesn't matter where you go. If 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 the people in the church are hurtful, but this is the place you're going because you're really searching for the love of God. The love of God is going to meet you there, mm -hmm. and He'll take you out of that place and put you in the place where there's right. really love. Right, yeah. right. That's yeah. the truth. Um, and it makes me think about. Um, but the whole time we was talking, I just think about Jesus. Jesus came from heaven and came down into earth. And his main goal, how like we said, our main focus should be God. And in that time, Jesus, he was persecuted. People did talk about him. But that didn't change his overall goal. Like, he didn't shift and move because of what people were saying. And being that he was our blueprint, I feel like people get away from that. They don't. They forget that Jesus was our blueprint and that even though he may have been, you know, talked about or people did him wrong, he was crucified by the church people so i feel like people though they forget the overall focus is god and yeah. relaying back to jesus would really help them out because he was our blueprint after all and, but but you got and that's what i think really important is like you saying the blueprint we got to look at as far as the foundation of jesus like you say as far as the the church was they 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 crucified him but while he was on the cross, what did he say? Father, forgive them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Not, they don't know what they do. Still so right. so I think it all goes back to the foundation. So when you look at the foundation, you got to look at this right here. What I look at, too, is you have some people that they come from a loose church. Mm -hmm. And being that they come from a loose church, when they come to a church that got structure, they come from a church that, that's about God, they can take any little thing and say, oh, that, that hurt me because... I was loose over there. I was able to do what I had want to do over there. Nobody say nothing to me. They just let me go do what I want to do. But now I'm over here where, where I'm accountable and, and I got people that 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 care really care about my soul now. But in the way they care about my soul, I mean they will re rebuke when I'm doing wrong or, or they come talk to me and say, Don't do that. Then they be like, Well, they were always on me. Why are you always on me? Why are you why are you always bothering me? Why are you always saying this? Why are you always saying that? The Bible says that God is what? He chastised who, who we love. love. So right. that means God trying to save you, trying like to keep love, you from yeah. something. Yeah. But but because you like you said, that wrap up in something else and have that demon that 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 might be done possess you or uh, yeah. On you, you thinking yeah. like this person attacking me. Now I got to leave, yeah. and when I leave, now it's church hurt. So what would you do with a person like that? Like, like would you knowing that knowing that you you are trying to help someone, you're trying to help someone, you're trying to help them get delivered. You see what's on them, you see what's on their life, and you know that God is you you know trying to strip them of things that they've been dealing with, or things that they've been going through. And as as a leader, as as a leader and an apostle over you know thousands of people that you cover, and you have this one person whom God is just really like rebuking and chastising because he's trying to strip them of their old ways, trying to get them to be groomed. Mm -hmm. But they leave and then they persecute the church or they leave and they say I'm church hurt how would you how would you respond to that because you know you, you got a lot of people now they church hurt they put that thing all on social media yeah. they put yeah. that well, thing all over on Facebook media. they put that thing all over man if they could get a radio yeah. station yeah. they would and go for it <laughs> you know what I'm saying like like you got you, you got people up. right that do that how would you handle you know the persecution of one who you know as a leader you haven't done any hurt to you haven't done any harm but you were doing what God told you to do because you saw what was in them to push them forward but then they come back and say you hurt them i'm a church hurt how would you deal with that i, I would i mean my opinion this is my opinion now as far as you know like as far as if you're pushing somebody pushing somebody pushing somebody in and you see that they don't want it i mean as far as as a leader now i i, I, I know this is how it might sound but but i look at it as, as a child i mean you could tell a child to do something over and over and over and over and over and over and over but that child, I mean, if they don't want to do it, they're not going to do it. You can say, don't touch the stove. The stove is hot. Sometimes you have to have allowed the child to touch the stove for the child to understand that the stove is hot. Now I understand what they're saying. But in a scenario, what you're saying is I, I just feel like far as sometimes after you done, you done, you done pour and 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 they just not getting it. Sometimes, you, I mean, I feel like you have to just leave it up to God and let God do it. I feel like mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you could just be that seed. That, that, that somebody else out there come water 
Because sometimes I feel like, you know, you can keep pushing a person and pushing a person and pushing a person until you can make a person drive away. That's like a relationship. Sometimes you just got to let God do it. Even yeah. though God doing it, but sometimes you got to say, well, God, I done did everything I can. I know to do. You got to do it from here. So but, after they done leave, and now they're persecuting you because they say you hurt them or oh. you, you did them wrong, well, how we, do you respond to that? How, how do you how operate respond? in that? They say no response. This is a response. We do how MB. I mean, <laughs> this, I mean, this, this is how I look at it. I mean, if if if, if I know I didn't do did nothing to that individual, and I was trying to help that individual, I mean, like far as you know, the Bible says if your if you feel like your brother got an odd against you, you reach out to your brother. Right, right. I mean, if you want to try that, but you got to pray too on that situation too, because you know that person probably already battling with that demon, and mm-hmm. that demon wait for you to respond or reach out so they yeah. can even blast you even more. Yeah. So, so sometimes you know it's good <laughs> to sit back and let them kill this. Judas killed himself, yeah, yeah. and I'm not saying that in a bad way, but I mean some yeah. things. Sometimes people got to realize what they're doing. They got to come to their own, whatever it is I'm looking for. Realization. Realization. Yeah. So, I mean, that's how I look at it. I mean, we done been in situations like that before. Sometimes you just don't say nothing. The right. Bible says, the battle is mine, says the Lord. It's not ours. Right. So right. sometimes you got to let God fight it. Yeah, I know. I know. You, you know, I know. I know. I just wanted somebody who was listening to know <laughs> what to do. That they don't always, because you got a lot of people. And I see a lot of prophets. Oh, they call themselves prophets. And I see a lot of pastors. <laughs> That they out there, oh, no, I ain't shutting my mouth. I'm going to say something. Yeah. I got something to say. That's and so they childish. be all on. It is childish. Yeah. And it's prideful. Yeah. Right that doesn't spirit. have to defend itself. Thank no. you. Right. Truth yes. will always be revealed. You get what I'm saying? Right. If it's the truth, why am I trying to validate the truth? The truth is going to always come forth. Right. You never have to do right. that. And then the crazy part about, I'm going to let you go with Brother Mally. The crazy part, why are you trying to prove yourself the man? Yes. Why? Yeah. And that, and that, you're not trying to prove yourself to God because God already know. The big thing people try to do is, oh, they got to know. They got to know. Yeah. Man got to know. What man doing for you? Man don't elevate you or, yeah. or put you up. Exactly. God do. Exactly. Distraction. Yeah. That's, um, it's just like listening to all of this and hearing all of this and just like watching. Um, one thing I can say is the most, the, the root of all of this is communication and Gossip, like gossip, is a perverted, a perverted, perverted form of communication. So yeah. you gotta be that's careful good. what you even that's allow good. to to receive. You know, it's a verbal form of division. So yeah. mm-hmm. anything that comes out of your mouth, it has to. You gotta make sure your tongue is seasoned. Your speech gotta be seasoned. Like mm-hmm. I gotta be careful what I receive in my ears because your ears are portals. I gotta be careful what I release because the root of all of this church hurt. And I quote, I feel like it's it. The form comes from what you allow in and what you allow to come out. Yeah. If you, if somebody says something to you, I'm going I'm to use her for example. She says something to me that, if she says something to me that I don't like and I, I don't agree with it, if I let that thing linger on the inside of me, it's going to cause me to act funny. It's going to yeah. cause me to feel like I'm hurt. Right. And if I let that get touched something deeper, I might go on Facebook and start ranting and doing all that childish stuff. So you got to be careful. I know she loves me and I know her intentions are not to hurt me or harm me. So with that, if she says something that hurt me, maybe I need to check myself. And if 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 it wasn't true, if it I know these were lies and false words, false allegations against me, point blank, period, one ear and out the other. I don't even need that. Let I don't need to let that linger. So I really think the the best way to fight that demon and to break the back off of this demon is to control what you allow in and what you put out. Yeah, and 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 you you said something so key because you got to understand the Bible says out of the abundance of the heart the, the mouth, mouth speaks. Speak. So you you are so right. Our ears are our gate, their gate. So if you allow it in and it's allowed to sit in your heart, eventually it's going to come out of your mouth yeah. because that heart is really going to birth out exactly what's in it. And so mm-hmm. it goes back to your heart posture now. Yeah. Where is your heart posture? What What is your heart posture to? Who yeah. is your heart posture to? You, you, you get what I'm saying? Because when you release things out of your mouth, you got to also know that that's what you're creating because because the power of life and death lies in the tongue. Right. So if death is coming out of your mouth because gossip is murder yes. to someone else. Mm. So if death is coming out of your mouth, you already dead. Mm. Because that's in your heart. Jesus. You've got a dead heart. Mm. You, you know what I'm saying? If yeah. life comes out of your mouth, that means you're living. My God. Because that's what's within. So you got to think about it. Are you really church hurt? Or are you just hurt from all of what you've been allowing to get in? Right. Yeah. That's good. 
Ooh. And, I mean, and like you say, not with a demon. Not with a, it is. So, so I think for us, we as as the church, I mean, for us, we just have to war against that that principality. Yeah. That demon. Yeah. I, I think if we war against that and we're defeated, and we we can go back to the the basics. And that's to, why it's imperative that leaders teach this stuff in the church right. this is why this is continuing to go on because it's not being taught in the church who's really right now really for real for real teaching on principalities teaching on deliverance and how to get deliverance you got deliverance ministries out there but they're mediocre can i be for real yep. they, yeah. we've got a lot of mediocre deliverance me. ministries mm-hmm. and they think deliverance deliverance comes in so many different forms yes. yawning burping yes. you, you know they, these are different Different forms. Yes. You laughing, but it's for real. <laughs> it like is. it comes in so yeah. many different forms. Yeah. Deliverance. You can cough and yes. be delivered yeah. from a spirit. You yes. know, there's so many different forms of you. You know, deliverance. People don't understand that you can be in a, a deliverance service and people think you crying and your nose just running. No, that's deliverance. That's deliverance. Yes. Your nose just yeah. running. Release. That's releasing uh-huh. the different things. It don't always have to come from a purging of out of the mouth. You, you get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's different ways of purging. But we have so many mediocre uneducated Mm. deliverance ministries that people are not getting delivered and set free you have people who go and lay their hands on people and you see them shaking they fall out you think you did something no you just (laughs) activated a demon frustrated and aggravated now get over there get these people delivered and set free they're they're uneducated on what deliverance is so this is why there's so much taintedness so much perversion so much gossip so much of all of this in the house of god Mm -hmm. because Mm -hmm. People aren't teaching it. Wow. But that's They're what not. they run to, though. And that's what they like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what they run Because they can still dwell in their sin. I can still yeah. do what I want to do. So they're not really church hurt. They're, they're not. They're just, you know, that's, that's the excuse to... To be able to yeah. bounce around, come they, on. They leave, they leave from one. They leave one church. Say, I'm a church herd over here, but they go to the very similar thing in the next Taking one. It with them. Come on! <laughs> if, if they allow them to have that, have that, that free range to move how they want to move. That's good stuff. Then they feel like, oh, this is a place of That's deliverance. They got love here because I get to do what I want to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's good. I love that. You heard what she said. They take it with them. Yeah. Savan mm-hmm. said they take it with them. Yeah. They, you, you're so right. They take that with them. And if I can be honest, there are some people who are real life sent by the enemy. Yeah. Yeah. The devil sends people. That's why they're not planted. They're potted. Mm. Wow. Wow. That's good. Yeah. They're potted. <laughs> the good. enemy sends potted people wow. to the church. They can't be planted. Yeah. That they're potted. So wow. what they do is they move from one pot to the next. When that's that dirt, good. when that's that, good. when that when that dirt sure. starts setting in, and they yeah. start feeling that dirt, and they feel like, oh, I feel a root trying to grow. All these people trying to change me. And guess what? That devil said, uh, uh-uh, uh, this Dominic. was just a pot. Let's go that's switch good. your pot, yeah. switch your pot, and yeah. this is what they're doing. They're yeah. not they they're not planted. Well, they're that's just good. potted. That's real. Hip. That's, yeah, good. that's good. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm telling you, we we got potted potted. Christians, because they ain't saints. <laughs> they ain't saints. We, we we got people who gonna listen at this podcast and say, "What she mean when she say they Christians and they ain't saints?" You gotta understand, because so I had somebody that say something about that too. Like, what do you mean we are Christians? How you not gonna call yourself what God called us? God never called us Christians. Never, never called he us. never yeah. called never. us Christians. No, it's in the us. Word of God. Christians came. The terminology Christian came from the Antiochians. Mm-hmm. In when when they went to go and teach to the Antiochs and teach to these people. People, it said that they begin to mock them because mm-hmm. their people were transitioning, was transforming into becoming like Christ. They were accepting Jesus. So they begin to call them Christ-like people. So mm-hmm. they say, y'all Christians, y'all Christ-like people. That's where the name came from. And that was mentioned only that time in the Bible. But yeah. if you read how many times saints saint. was mentioned in the Bible, God, because saint means consecrated. Yeah. So this is the problem that we have. We got too so, many Christ-like people. Mm-hmm. In mm-hmm, the church, mm-hmm. they want to be like Christ, but they don't take on the identity really of Christ. You the heard form. that, so that's why you got church. The heard. form of God in this, yeah. right? The Christ-like people, right? That's they want to follow Christ, but they don't want to be like yeah. Christ. You so know, you, that that hurt them right there. That <laughs> church hurt right there, right? You, I, I, I'm a Christian. Yeah. No, yeah, they'll yeah, beat yeah, you yeah. down. Why yeah. like you're not a Christian? <laughs> right. And now they hurt. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they feel his hurt. So my grandma, my mama was a hurt Christian. Feelings. My grandmother was a Christian. Yeah. My great grandma was a Christian. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> but and you, you just explained that it came from the pagans. Christian was a joke. They they were calling yes. you a joke. Yeah, yeah. I, I just saw I just saw a clip on 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 social media about a guy. 
He's a um he's a he's a Satanist. He had the eyes and all of that stuff. In. And he was like, and he came on, and he was saying he was thanking the progressive Christians. I saw that. You saw that? Yes. Yeah. He said he thank he thank he's like keep on doing what you're doing because you're doing our job <laughs> for us. He wow. did. I saw and that. So once again, he's saying. Christian, you Christian, you want to be labeled as a Christian? <laughs> you a joke. I'm glad wow. you called See yourself that. See mocking. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. you, re- you take mocking. on a mockery name. Right. A name that uh, mocks God. And get upset if somebody yeah. says you That's shouldn't call yourself that. That's trying to bring knowledge to you of because done. of the lack of knowledge yeah, the exactly. people perish. Yes. And God is trying to bring knowledge and awareness. And this is what church talk is about. Yeah. Awareness and knowledge so that people can grow in God the right way. But people yeah. get get mad you know why because they want to stay in their own ways they want to stay in it so at that point all you can do is just keep on moving this is what jesus did jesus didn't say i'm church hurt (laughs) these pharisees hurt me (laughs) these sadducees hurt me let me ask you a question who you jesus did you ever heard your your, your grandmama say she was church hurt? Never. Uh uh-uh, uh, no. I ain't never Mm-mm. heard that before. No, no, no. Ma never said that. We call her Ma. Ma <laughs> never said that. I ain't Ma never went heard to church that. faithful. And the back in the days, <laughs> what they did, they rebuked you over the church, <laughs> over the pulpit. pulpit. They everyone. rebuked you, and you better not have said anything. So, but it wasn't that you was afraid so of them. You so was so fearful of God fear, yeah. because yeah. you were fearful what God would do. So let's do a time. So so oh. the church hurt when we came in wrong about. What, the millennium, ten, the, ten years ago? <laughs> the millennium, <laughs> the millenniums, boy. I'm trying to tell you, it was the millennium. Once they started going out and making that marriage the culture, once they started yeah. letting culture come in, yeah. Yeah. when they stopped it's having the praise and worship, they having wow. concerts. It, wow. it, it wow. was yeah, the yeah, man. My generation, somebody right now. My like, generation, it's a performance. You hurting somebody hey, now? It is what yeah. it is. A concert make you hop and jump. Yeah. Come on now. You see them in Gen Z. You see them on the videos, and it looked like a mosh pit out there. They they just jumping and dancing, jumping around. Yeah. It's just like a marsh pit. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing no different a from a rush. secular concert than exactly. what they call in praise and worship. They're doing the exact same thing with the exact same music. Yes, they got know. the exact same artist that they be performing in both locations. Come in both on, locations. Man. Come on. <laughs> That's the yeah. truth, though. I will be real. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny how you said that <laughs> about the church hurt being kind of new. The only, from where I'm from, and I'm not that old, but. The only time you've seen people sit home and out of church is because they shacking up and they shame to come to church. That's, That's it. And they, yeah. they know if they come in there, that that, that truth going to hit them hard come and on. they got to stop doing what they got to do. But they was afraid and, and of they, the, hearing the word. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then see, now you guys are where people, man, yeah. they bold. Man, they, they, they bold. They don't they don't about that. They <laughs> and they'll let you know we shacking. Man, right. They'll let you know this is what I'm doing. Hey, you, you, I smoke, I drink. But, you, but ho, ho, you remember a time like, you, y'all right. Because yeah. was a time, if you know you shacking with somebody, you only go to the pub like, yeah, me, this is my girl. We live together. Yeah, you don't do that. Leaving at the church. Hey, you be afraid. Yeah. You, might, you might tell her to sit on one side. You sit on the other side. You don't want to pass the boy. And be, sit, be sitting in the wow. church. Be sitting in the church thinking of something because you know the prophet yeah. reading you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. So you trying to think of all other kinds of yeah. cheeseburgers, ice cream. White walls and bleach. Come on. Well, y'all know, y'all know time changed. Yes. And then, and then if you do find an individual that, that, that's shacking now, you let them know shacking ain't right. They can't they're feeling it. Yeah. And, they're, and, they're and they ain't coming back to your church. Yeah. yeah. What well, you gonna tell me you I'm shacking that? Yeah. You, I'm not gonna go to hell for that. I mean, Jeez, you know, people people look like that. Yeah, I think the fear of God has diminished. Exactly. That's what the Bible The love of God went cold. Yeah. yeah. That's wow. exactly what we're seeing. They they really don't. And I think it's because of the fact that you have so many people that really, really have gotten to the place where they are just loose. Mm-hmm. We've just got I'm, loose. People. And that's why, and, and 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 now the church is loose. The that's, building yeah. is loose. Yeah. And, and and this is what I want to say right here. I I, I feel like if if I'm not in a church or in a place that 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 convicted me that 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 like like when I go, I'm like, oh, you know, like like convicting me of my sins. Yeah. If I got sins, I don't need to be in that church. If I'm in a church that if I know I'm doing wrong. I know I'm living any kind of way. I'm, yeah. I'm sleeping with everybody, mm-hmm. and I can go to the church and still feel comfortable. comfortable. Yeah. That's not the church for me. Mm-hmm. Somewhere where you're gonna be but, held accountable. But, but our mindset, right. it like it doesn't change. Like our mindset do the opposite. It do. I want what feel good, but I don't want what 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 don't feel good. You see <laughs> what I'm saying? Uh, I don't want what's gonna what's gonna help me get delivered, set free, 
help me get an eternal life. I want what's not going to help me get that, but I still want an eternal life. Mm, that's mm. like kids that. that have a cold. These little kids, they got a cold, and you're trying to give them that medicine, but that medicine's so nasty, and they don't mm. want it. They're rejecting but it. But it's good but for them. But listen, if you take this, this is going to get rid of your cold. You get mm, what I'm saying? Right. Take this medicine. But you got people who don't understand that I'll follow what is wrong before I follow what is that's right, right. Yeah. because I want to be able to not have to take on what is right because it changes the way I, I want to do things yeah. it changes the way I want to operate and like you were saying Savon no accountability is there and if you don't give accountability then you just got people running rampant all yeah. in the church you got all kind of stuff I'm talking about a jacked up house and yeah. we are hearing about houses that are so messed up and you got people who are so faithful that yeah. want to sit in that type of environment mm -hmm. that type of environment that right there to me is your life cannot function without dysfunction that's good. That's good. Wow. because you got a lot that's of people good. who love dysfunction that's good. Wow. and so because you you can't you don't know how to function without dysfunction so you sit in the in a body that is dysfunctional because this is what i'm familiar with yeah. and this is good to me yeah. and this is what i like and it's it, it there's no way you can say you church hurt when you dysfunctional wow Man. That, that's good because so, it's pleasing the flesh yes right. that's the exactly flesh. what it is they want their flesh to be pleased, ding 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 right. ding ding we like got it spirit. flesh so, malnourished like you going to please your flesh but your spirit is malnourished because you're not you're not really getting yeah. what you need what because you feed will grow yeah. what you start wow. so that. so being that we done we 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 we, we said all of this right here the 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 bring a conclusion to all of this right here i mean how what would be a message for somebody who is sitting home? Who who say they've been church hurt, but say that they can't go back for a suit of church? Like, what would you tell that person for us to do? Like, what would you just tell that person so they can receive life? Anybody? I would just say, put your confidence in God right. and take it out of people. Uh, yeah, that, that's that, that's, that's right to the point. Simple. Anybody else? <laughs> yeah. Stop using it as an excuse. That's you know, it it's just. It's an excuse not to go to church. It's an excuse not to do God. So, you know, it's it's time out for excuses. You got to grow up and mature. Like, yeah. you know, if you've been in church for 20 and 30 years, you shouldn't still be a babe in Christ. You shouldn't Ooh, still be letting real. things like that get that to you. Part. You got to mature. You got to grow up. It's, I mean, you got to eat the meat. Grow yeah. up. Come on. You got to mature. Yeah. That's good. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway. Uh, get out your feelings. Yes. Get, out, get, out, get out your feelings yeah. and if, yes. if you really want in the love of God then the love of God is going to steer you to where you should be and, and stop putting it on on this person that person because it's not the person if you're looking for the love of Christ then the love of Christ is going to find you it's going to find you you know and for those that just dropped out of places it's because you just wanted to drop out because you wanted to continue doing yeah. what you're doing <laughs> real yeah. raw that's, that's and do. uncut yeah. okay uh yeah. you gonna go say well i was gonna say just to keep your overall focus on god if you have your overall focus on god it's like a um i know we use a scenario a lot like a a, a horse with blinders on the race if the horse has a blinders on the reason why they have their blinders on so they don't see the other horses behind, beside That's them to good. get distracted. So put your blinders on. Keep your eyes focused on God. If you keep your eyes focused on God, you know, you won't worry about who's, you know, saying what or who's trying to hurt you. You keep your overall focus on God, and you'll make it if you stay focused. Well, yeah. I, I would say this right here, and I'll give it back to you. I would say for as like, like, like Kinea said earlier, let, let's just follow the blueprint. I mean, if you don't understand what the blueprint is, it's going to read the story of Jesus. And once you get that, I mean, you got everything. You got life. So you'll get back up and, you know, get back up and try it again. I mean, it might have to be the same house, but get up and try again because you got to know you got to have your soul must be fed. And the Bible say that for us when we assemble ourselves together, I mean, for us, he let us know things happen. Even on the day of Pentecost, when they all came together, I mean, you can't you can't do it by yourself. That's how I put it. So just getting a, 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 a good church that that's that's Bible based, that that preached the word of God, that's that don't know what I, I can say dilute a dot whatever the word yeah. is dilute yeah. the word of God yeah. I mean you don't want a word that's watered down you need yeah. something that's going to feed you that that's going to give you strength and once you get that you'll get that understanding you'll get that knowledge and everything that you need to help you push when when things like that do try to come you know its way you'll know it's just a principality yeah mm -hmm. um that is good I'll, I'll definitely say do some soul seeking for yourself mm -hmm. um that 
for for anyone to say that they've been church hurt, it really, really has to be something within um, that you you're dealing with or you're going through to even have the mindset to say that. So I say just do a self examination. Um, when I wake up in the morning, I always self examine myself. I always go to God with the heart of repentance. I repent even if I didn't think I did something, you know, because yeah. we we say things and we do things, you know, that we don't know sometimes yeah. that is not pleasing to God. Mm-hmm. So I say you that are listening and you haven't been to church for years or been to church for maybe a year or some months, no matter how long you haven't been, you know. Don't don't take out your your animosity or your anger on God because yeah. God is not the one that hurt you. God is not the one that did you wrong. Mm-hmm. I say do some self-examination of yourself and then go to God and release what yeah. is going on. Release. Cry out. Get in your prayer closet. Get in there and really, really tell God what you feel like you're dealing with and God will then reveal to you what it really was and what mm-hmm. you really are supposed to be in him. Take out that time to really, really search your soul and your heart. So I'm telling you, this church talk is off the chain, okay? Yes, it's Lord. real for real. It's raw for real, and it's uncut for real. Come and on. we are not holding back. We're not holding on to anything because we want all of you that are listening, all of you that are watching, to be delivered, be set free, be whole in God so that you can make it into the kingdom of God because nobody wants to get there and hear the words, depart Jesus. from me. Wow. I know know you not your works were of iniquity we all want to hear well done my good and faithful servant so i believe this podcast is a podcast that god gave us to help you get to where you need to be so that there's nothing that you can say that can excuse you from anything that god's gonna speak to you so again guys thank y'all for joining in to church talk podcast with your host apostle kadisha jenkins and Apostle Sean. We love y'all so much. Until next Friday, we'll see you then. Thanks for tuning in to Church Talk Podcast. Make sure to find us on all podcast platforms and subscribe to watch this podcast on YouTube at Kadisha Jenkins TV.